it's cleaning itself. Well, here we are again, Elbow. Look at this thing. It's a bit of a tatty looking uh, badge on it, but that's a badge on the back of my wood heater. I'll set this up. Look, there's a chimney going into the wood heater. Right up into the roof, which you can't see because this LED headset isn't good enough, but uh, you get the general idea. It has hit the freezing point outside. Frost is starting to form on my van. And I am in here in boxer shorts with no shirt on because it's so warm. See, Elbow, some of us are capable of doing things on our own. For fuck's sake, I carried this thing in here and my gosh, I think I... I can't remember if I used a trolley, I think I did. But it's heavy, trust me, it's heavy. It's all set up, it's all running, it's been running now for eight years. Yep, eight years. Actually, probably eight and a half since I put it here. And it's fine. I'm fine. We're warm. See, Elbow, the difference between you and me and so many others is we can do things. But it's not about that. I come here to show you some more quality content. That is a reflective strip on my trousers. Sitting on the floor. Now, this is the man who's... Uh, I'll just turn my headset off here. Whose dog died. And he was donated $4,000 in one night because people felt sorry for this great man and his dog dying. This one here is his new puppy. Also a bulldog. And what did the little Cretan, the fat Assyrian, decide he wanted to do? He was trying to work out how anybody would give this guy $4,000 in one night. What were you going to do, Elbow? Four months ago, it looks as though, from all the time tags that his dog died, and other people making videos on it, like Camo Dave and all that. What were you going to do, Elbow? Work out how to get yourself a dog and then work out how to kill it so people would feel sympathy for you? You're sitting there calculating how somebody was given money because of a bad event that happened and how you can get money like them. My gosh, you just do not have a soul, do you? But also, you don't have the ability to make quality content. Now, let's have a look at this guy and his stuff. It's a good little spot to have a little breakfast. Look at that. Positivity, happiness, excitement. He's more wound up than your dad when he was selling used cars. But the guy is naturally always happy and enthusiastic. He's not sitting there pissed off, slandering everyone, badgering Coates and this one and that one. Rosie doesn't shoot good enough. Coates must be getting money from someone else because I can't understand how he has it so easy. Ah. Uh, it's because he has a job part of the year. He didn't need to get money from mum or anything like that. No, he's got a job. And see what this guy's got? He's never negative. He never slanders anyone. He's always happy. He's always positive, And he enjoys his life. Not sitting there moping and bitching and moaning and getting cut because Rosie's spending time with D-Dub or whatever the fuck. Or Norm's giving money to fucking Rosie, or whatever it is this time. I can't break this banana open. I hate doing this. I bet your house doesn't have a view like that. Look at the positivity. I can't break this banana open. I hate doing this. 
I bet your host doesn't have a view like that. Let's do the music! Don't want to get a copyright strike here, can't let it run for any more than 15 seconds, but listen to that fucking music! Is this a reality? Is this something that you can expect to experience on an average day in van life? Is this really like what it's like? Absolutely. Today I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that you're going to have to experience when you first start moving into a van. Because there's going to be some major changes coming your way. <laughs> yep. But they always outbalance the bad and the good. <sighs> I don't know. I don't, this whole lifestyle has just been awesome all the way around. It's been an experience. A ch positivity! Fucking positivity, Elvis! The man's positive. Does he look like he's about to go, The truth about coats! I think someone else should do this for their channel! The truth! The truth is this person's bad, is this, is that! Hey, I'm doing that to you now. But do you know why I'm doing it to you? Because you do it to everyone else, you smart ass. But look at this guy. This is a successful channel. It's not about how you're going to get a dog to die so you can get $4,000 as well, Elbow. It's about a guy who's positive. He has never slandered anyone. He doesn't get cut when someone else gets donation monies. He doesn't sit there trying to calculate how Amanda May got more than him so he's got to get... As much as Amanda May. He doesn't have it all planned how somebody else has got to fucking do his van for him. He's got content. It's always in high definition. All this stuff is in high definition that he does. But let's listen to that fucking music. Reality. Let's go again. Let's listen to it again. When my phone catches up. God, this phone's been a piece of shit. You can see it kicking in and out online every time it gets the green line underneath. You guys know what that is. Fuck this phone. I don't know what it is. I can get a fantastic run for fucking 20 minutes or more, and then she'll just shit the fucking bed, and I'll be out for five minutes or so. Anyway, the fact is, regardless of all this, I think I've made me point here, where, you know, like, the dude's positive. He's got great music. Fantastic music. Why? Because he made it himself. Copyright strike? I'm probably not going to get a copyright strike at all. Why? Because he's a DJ and all this music is made by him because he's a DJ. And like I can get sheet metal and I can get wood heaters and I can get a welder and I can get an angle grinder and I can do shit, this guy can get DJ equipment, and he can make fucking music like that. And he puts all his music into his videos. Not all of it, but some of it to make his videos exciting, enthusiastic, and hyped up. He uses his skills as a DJ and merges his music into his videos. And it makes for thrilling videos. It just, you know, it really puts the vibe on them. What do you got? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. Please give money to support your king. You're sitting there, sitting on the same seat you always do, or standing in the same spot in the van that you always do, or sitting in the driver's seat, repeating yourself over and fucking over and fucking over, or slandering someone, or begging. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. You know your king deserves it. How do you fucking deserve it? How the fuck do you deserve money 
for either slandering people or just ranting away with all bullshit about how good you are and then you want to get money for that because you quote unquote deserve it? What are you fucking serious? You're sitting there with your bowl cut that looks like what, did you get a haircut at the fucking nursing home your mum's in or something? Fuck me, drunk. Bro, you can't even get a fucking haircut sorted. This guy here, my gosh, you know? Like, he, he fucking trims his facial hair to the nth degree and everything, you know? He's wearing clean clothes, he's got everything sorted, he's positive. He doesn't need an e-bag, he's got money of his own that he makes from DJ gigs. What do you got? Fucking nothing. Dude, you're like a fucking answering machine. You just repeat yourself over and over and over. You know? What? What is this? Why does it deserve money? If I want to hear something repeated over and over and over, I'll go to the fucking McDonald's drive through and I'll stand next to it. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? Fucking hell. <sighs> no real content, no real nothing. Whinge, moan, complain, and like fucking. What's his name? Oh, your, your favourite mate. What's his fucking name again? Canadian. Tucker. Like Tucker says. <laughs> See? Phone come back again. I disconnected and reconnected there. Like Tucker says. These e-beggars are turning their asshole inside out. Over two fucking dollars. That's right, I can speak with a Canadian accent sometimes. And it's true. You're bitter about who's got money and who hasn't. And someone's been given two dollars and you haven't. And Norm's given money to someone else, not you. Or Rosie's got this amount of viewers and you haven't. And... and Da 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 da, and how come Rosie's hanging around with D Dub now? And and oh, the fucking drama, the jealousy. Oh, turn your asshole inside out over two fucking dollars. It's true, dude. You know, wakey wakey. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Your monetization's gone. You'll be gone, and we're gonna have the best fun we've had in fucking ages. Because you know, you know, Drory told you. I know that's what one of those phone calls was about. Multiple other people have told you. One more month of AdSense. A check comes in and it's all over. And when the AdSense goes, I think the Super Chat might go with it. But not for Rosie. So you can turn your asshole inside out again. Because you don't have the 10,000 subs it takes to stay on board. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great seeing you tearing yourself fucking limb for limb over this shit. Squealing like a cut pig. That you're running out of money. E-begging and dribbling and carrying on. And like the other 50 times you're going to leave YouTube, or maybe this time you'll finally follow through with it. Maybe you finally will follow through with it because there'll be no money. And then you can join the ranks of the corporate ham and agus. And you'll have someone like me or another troll to be your supervisor. And we'll make sure that you don't stay an extra two minutes for lunch and you're back out there. I'm an egg like a corporate slave. We'll put the slave in corporate slave for you. Ho, 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 ho. See how it all goes. All because 
You are such a bitter, lazy, unskilled, grumpy little prick that couldn't make decent content and save your skin and get above 10,000 subs with great music like this. <laughs> We're going to eat you alive. Here's a good little spot to have a little breakfast. That's right, Elbow. Trains are coming. <laughs>